today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to catfish from here to whatever this is. <laughs> I can't believe I look like this. Who is that? This is what I look like in my head. So I'm going to show you guys how to look like this. So subscribe, follow me on Insta and TikTok, and hit the shitty subscribe button now. Hello, ladies and disappointments. Today, I'm going to do my makeup. So it's been a minute since I've done my makeup, and everyone and their moms are asking me for a hair tutorial, for a makeup tutorial, this and that. So I just decided to do both together. Before you ask me, corset is from Amazon. Gloves, Amazon, everything is linked below. Trust me, you just have to look in the description box. So yeah, I just took a quick shower, and this is what my hair looks like. I got my extensions out. So this is fresh natural annie and yes my eyes are naturally blue i'm so tired of you guys trying, trying to, prove to prove me wrong, wrong. like I was, I was born with blue, with blue eyes. eyes my mom had piercing blue eyes stop trying to beat me okay it's always the hating black-eyed bitches who have the most shit to say how is my baby hair situation but i genuinely don't believe in heat protectant and like other things does it work like let me know it's oh my god it's like my house is on fire why is it so bright on camera i don't know what it is i just don't believe in any kind of leave-in conditioner leave out conditioner so except for this one product i actually went to a hairdresser here in la she is actually a follower of mine so she actually watches me which is insane and she's like i want to do your hair and when she sprayed this i was like whatever this is i need it i also used the john freda frizz ease leave-in uh conditioner too it's all from amazon i will link it below when i say wow i mean wow this is what took my breath away it's the guy tang his product are pretty expensive but this is guy tang my spotlight uh this is for shine like i will show you at the end how pretty my hair looks after i spray this so this is like wow you need to get this everyone and your mom needs to get it this is the only product i was like i need to buy this other than that hair products don't really excite me or entice me you know i'm gonna blow dry my hair for that let me tell you let me put you on the best product ever this is from revlon again amazon from revlon is the best step one hair drying brush it is huge like look at this look at how much hair i can dry off in like two seconds it's insane it, with my extensions it took me like 10 minutes with this short hair wow five minutes and it's pretty loud it's like a little indian railway station like good fucking loud i can't play it here right now it's so loud so i'm gonna just go mute but just so you know it is like one of the best hair products ever it's for dumb bitches who don't like doing hair who do their makeup earrings belly piercings and toenail pedicures but when it comes to hair they're like yeah i'm not gonna do it yeah this is a product for you it's for all the lazy people i know uh but honestly gives you a salon blow dry and wow my hair is so smooth for days I mean, I hit the gym, I cook, and like my hair doesn't get greasy. Because this device like smoothens your hair from root to your the tip of the hair. It's so affordable too. Let's see how smooth, oh my God, look at that shine, how smooth my hair is versus what I started with. Um, also, two minutes, two minutes to one side of my hair, it's crazy. And so many of you ask me what shampoo or what conditioner, no babe, it's this blow dry. Since I've been using this, I get so many comments everywhere. Like, what are you doing to your hair? Like every single day, why does your hair look so good? It's this product. And I also want to say you want to do it with like 95% of dry hair You don't want to do it with fully dry hair or fully wet hair It has to be like 95 to 80% dry hair It shouldn't be a smooth pull out It has to be like an aggressive pull out This is like the worst way to explain it But I can't explain it any other way You have to like get the device to know what I'm talking about Do you know the salon when you're sitting And like they, they literally drag your hair out by your scalp Yeah, that's how you're supposed to pull it Because that's how you get your smooth hair There's a different version There's a big one There's a small one There's a brand new one But the one that I really like is the big one it's like the OG Revlon hair dryer. I will link it again below. Um, you get different colors from Amazon. And then for my bangs, what I'm gonna do is I usually just take that much. I did get curtain bangs and like a brand new haircut from the same girl who like did my hair. So for that, I'll just like pluck it out, do that and turn it on. So I do that and oh my God, my hair looks, tell me my hair doesn't look, oh my God, my titty out. Tell me my hair doesn't look so good right now. Fresh motherfucking blowout, bitch. Like this is a secret and everyone's fucking gatekeeping it. And then I found this on TikTok and I'm like, everyone needs to know this. And this is why they sold out. Like they sold out everywhere. And I think they're like the number one Amazon product. I could be making that completely out of my ass, but it's like the number one best selling beauty product from um, on Amazon. I don't know. Like, honestly, just buy, test it out. If you don't like it, you can just give it away. I don't know. Like, I'm gonna put the final, the shiny spray. Just, just watch this. This guy is, I think, a millionaire for a reason. Guy Tang. It's because his shit is so good. And then you want to kind of brush it out. Can you see? Oh my God. Can you see that? Can you see that? This is my natural shine and this is his shine, which is absurd. What does he put in his product? Oh my God. Why is it shiny? You guys see that or not? Like, am I blind? 
and that's my finished hair look like for everyone literally spamming me everywhere i'll hit you with chapal i low-key really want to try the dyson air wrap um i just got this for me to myself it's like a christmas gift or whatever it's one of the things that went viral again on tiktok bitch tiktok be taking my money i actually don't know how this works i was like let me just get this a try i'm here anyway i'm scared uh. oh my god Hey, that's cute. Look at that. Okay, but I'm gonna do this another day. So again, for makeup, wow, I've been trying so many new products that I'm in love. Before I start, I have to shave my face. And for that, can I just say, a beauty product I cannot live without easily has to be the syrup. Okay, has to be the Cerave little boy. His name is Healing Ointment. This is out of stock everywhere. I'd be purchasing this wherever I see this, okay? So this is a big tub, a smaller tub. Then I have a mini tube. And then I also have a cut up tube because like I'm not gonna waste any single product, okay? I just be taking everything, slathering it all over my face. I also use it as lip balm. It's like one of the best products ever. Um, I usually put this all over my face and I go to sleep. But what I'm going to do today is, since I'm shaving my face, I'm going to put it like around my eyebrows, my fully face. Um, you don't want to like put this blade under your, I mean around your acne scars. I have some here. Maybe I'm going to skip it. My mustache under my eye, the sides of my face, my temples. You want to put this everywhere. Beard, whatever. Best blade ever. I will link it below. You can go really close and shave off your face. It is so relaxing. Okay, starting with my sideburns, because what the fuck is that? She is huge and big for what? Like, this will get you such a clean shave. Like, I am literally in love with this blade. I don't buy the tinkle cheap razors anymore because they cut you. Um, This one really doesn't cut you that much. No, this is good. Like, I get all the hair out. Look at that. All the peach fuzz. Can you see that? Disgusting. You do want to pull your skin taut, okay? But I'm just I'm so good at this. I've been doing this for ages that I don't need to do that anymore. But it gives me a clean shape. I also do my nosy. Again, you want to turn. And then I want to get this. Dude, us, like brown people, wh what is with the sideburns? Like, am I a whole man? Like, it, my pronouns are he, him now. Because my fucking sideburns literally screams... A male in his mid 30s i have such fucking thick sideburns bye just just want to hang myself like give me a beard and i'm like i'm gonna change my name to like akash or something you know what i mean look even my own brother doesn't have that kind of a sideburn why the fuck did i get that actually it's my mistake i kind of started shaving <laughs> at like grade six i kind of go under my eyebrow and cut and then cut like that i love doing my um oh look at that look at that can you see that black line that is all my shitty baby hair. Dead skin. Oh my god, look. I love doing my forehead because I actually see some disgusting dead skin everywhere. I'm just gonna wipe it out completely. I just want to say be careful with acne spots. I have acne here. I didn't run it over there because like it just gets really like painful. So skip on that. And then now we're going on to primer. And for that, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer. I was invited um, to their event, which is so cool. So I just take a little bit and I'm going to put it where my skin is mostly oily, like right on my cheeks. I'm going to rub it all over my acne scar too. But dude, events in LA are so bougie and so cool. Like, you know, it's totally the hype. It's hyped up for a reason. Like, you feel cool. You feel like the main character here. It's so weird. Like, they go out. Like, you know when I get invited to these events? Oh, wait, let me just talk about foundation for a second. This is something I picked up from CVS. Wow, you need to get your hands on these. These are the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Tinted moisturizer is so much better than the actual foundation foundation. So I always go in with a very light shade like this. And then on top of that, I'm going to go with this shade, which is quite close to my skin. And then... I will take my brush, but look at how, let me just do one face so you can see. This is a moisturizer, mind you. Look at how well it covered my acne scar and it's super light coverage. You can't, I can't even feel like I have makeup on. Like it, the way it covers your scars and your pigmentation, I cannot believe this is a tinted moisturizer. Don't get the NARS one, it's super expensive. You need to go get the Maybelline one. This is so lightweight for winter. Um, and I also put it all over my neck. Okay, so this is one face completely done and this is my other side. Can you see how beautiful it makes my skin look? I'm obsessed. I've been only using this combination for the longest time. But I was just gonna say, so you know when I get invited to these events, like I'm 
not like, oh my God, I'm so blessed. I'm like, and excited to be here. I'm just like looking all over the apart uh, apartment. I'm looking all over the studio, the event place. And I'm just so shocked. Like, I'm like, how much money do they have to throw a crazy event? Like this is for a day. And yes, it's marketing and you get so many people posting about your brand, tagging you. It's really transactional here in LA, but I'm just like, does this really work? Like if you work in like the um, marketing industry, let me know. Um, is it better than billboards and like TV advertisements anymore? Because it's insane. I'm like, do they make that much back? Like Smashbox invited me to their huge event. And I'm like, a lot of influencers were here taking pictures, posting about them, which is cool and everything. But at the same time, I'm like, oh my God, who's actually going to go out and buy these products? Will they be able to, will they be reimbursed for all the, the money they spent? They have amazing food and drinks and you know how people in LA, everyone's fucking gluten free, vegan free, this free, that free, salt, sugar, water free, air free. Like what is left y'all? So it's like, I'm just like, how much are they spending on food and this and that? Like, are they going to get their money back or not? You know, I will never stop using Kat Von D. If you know, you know. Anti-vax, but I don't think she is anymore. I think she's got vaccinated now. She's she's fine. She's our bestie now. But um, this is the only thing that tends to like cover any kind of pigmentation that I have going on. So I just put this all over my acne scars. And um, like one time I randomly asked somebody like, like how much did it take for you to like set up this whole LA event? $700,000. That's a whole house. That's a whole mansion. And like fucking utah so what do you what is this you know it's absurd the money people spend here for like events but it's for a day like it's one day you know it's if it's not like a two-week uh festival like crazy dude people in la have shit ton of money cannot relate yeah that's very interesting for me um uh, but yeah i'm gonna just use this all over my eye then uh, i'm back to loving my huda beauty powder wait i need to talk about this too this is the huda beauty contour thank god i picked this because i need to show you guys this is this makes me so bronze and people are like oh my god her makeup is so blended now what is she doing and i'm like nothing because it's this like i'm doing the same thing i just stopped doing powder so i just do all liquid now and this thing is oh my god like i bring it down like that so i get that cool angelina jolie sunken dead corpse bitch vibe you know like you want to bring it down like this don't bring it like that bring it down look at how <gasps> look at how skinny my face it, it made it look my look at how skinny it made my face look it's giving adhd pills it's giving mental illness antsy slow down this is so sad somebody commented on my tiktok first of all i hate you bitches sometimes on tiktok being like oh my god i remember watching you back in high school oh my god i remember watching you when i got my first period i remember watching you when i just came out of my mom's womb i didn't like die y'all those comments literally make me so sad because i'm like am i dead like am i like irrelevant like i didn't die you know you leave comments like that when someone's dead like michael jackson you're like oh my god i listened to his music when i was like five years old I'm alive. Okay, why are people commenting that? And then it's, it's like really sweet though because people on TikTok are like, oh my God, I used to watch you back in the day. You're like the OG. I remember watching your shitty videos. They were so funny, blah, blah, blah. And one girl was like, you know, I really like watching you, but then I had to stop. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck did I do? And she's like, well, you just talk really fast and I can't keep up. And I'm like, oh, sweetie, that is, I really would have changed for you. But then now I can't because like that, that is like out of my system. Like I really try. It's just impossible, you know? Um, I actually let this sit on my face for a second and then i also put some on my nose like that and some under my lip this is a trick y'all okay better record this but i take some with a very very skinny sigma brush you can tell i will bring this right here okay bitches with skinny nosies whether cindy kimberly madison beer uh cameron diaz like whoever you look at they always have shit ton of shadow here then it starts pinching and then going down like that so cut it right here some here and i will take this and run it in my eyes like that creating dark circles or whatever i'm gonna use my little liquid blush this is uh by Benefit Love Tint, this is super pink and red, so girlies, if you don't like that, this is not gonna be what you're gonna enjoy applying, but it's giving clown. Okay, and then after this, okay, you take your foundation brush, the dark contour, you blend that in. Mix it with the blush, bring it all the way up. You gotta bring your blush all the freaking way up, okay? And then I also bring it back to my nose and give me that rosy look. And then, oh my god, I look like an oily baby. I've been gaining shit ton of weight because of my the pill that I'm on and my condition. So I will literally map out my jaw and make it super like sharpy sharp near my chin like that. And then, again, I will take this and blend. Now we will powder our face. So calm down and freak out. Okay, for this, again, I'm using my Huda Beauty powder. Um, I, I'm, I wasn't a huge fan of this for the longest time. I don't know why. And then one time I had no powder, so I just like fully dumped my dunked my face into this powder. And my makeup lasted for so long. I knew what she's doing. I mean, she lives in a melting ass city, right? The sun doesn't set 
to like 9 p.m look at how matte it made my face and how airbrushed my face looks it's this powder so i don't use powder anymore other than blush i've just stopped doing it and my makeup is more blended and like more seamless so yeah try doing this and let me know how it turns out for you because i've been doing this trick all along and people seem to like it i haven't gotten blend your fucking makeup comments anymore now i'm back to having super super smooth skin like this is crazy how smooth my skin looks right now and then now i'm gonna do my eyebrows i keep them light as i always do and for eyeshadow oh my god this is like giving me throwback vibes but anyone remember this dusty z palette of mine i would have the warm shades on this side and then i would have the pink mauve shades on this side this used to be my palette I, if you remember you remember it's way back in the day what i do is honestly the most low effort looking gorgeous kind of eye look is literally drag your brush through like a bunch of pinks this is what i do most of the time and pink is really the vibe okay for fall you can't go wrong i just put it all over my eyes sometimes it might make you look a bit sick um so i just go between pink and brown now i'll do the whole row of brown this is makeup geek shadows by the way they were like the og back in the day i'm talking like i'm 60 and expiring tomorrow but i don't know like she just like stopped selling her makeup i'm so curious to what happened like i'm very curious to like know about businesses and stuff like when i meet people you know like i ask them a lot of questions especially like business owners like if you own if you I don't know, own Tesla or like if you own makeup brands, I have so many questions like, how do you do this? How do you hire people? How do you know what you want to launch next? Do you get inspiration? Like, you know, I have so many questions here because everyone in LA is either a business owner or they're doing tax fraud or money laundering. Like it's one thing or the other. And I'm so excited to learn and like know more about it. I will never launch a brand. Like I don't see myself launching a brand anytime soon. Like I can't, like I don't know I'm gonna, like I'm not gonna sell. I'm not a good seller or a, a salesperson. Yes, I, I don't see myself as that, you know? Like what the fuck am I supposed to sell? Like how, what am I supposed to do? So that is my eyes. And let me just put you on. Everyone, shut the fuck up. Grande Lash. This motherfucker made my eyelashes grow insane. Again, I found this on TikTok. But I bought it from Amazon. This is what it looks like. It's called Grand Lash MD. I got the six month version. There's a lot of sizes. You gotta apply this every day. I just wanna show you. You can apply it with makeup on. You gotta do it before you go to bed. Wow, babe, the way it blew up my whole eyelashes. I was in shock. I was in awe. But yeah, I have to keep buying it. That's the only con. I'm gonna take my ever so loved crusty musty. When your makeup product is shit like this, you know it's good. It's a Daisy Katie Chasing the Sun Dose of Colors Highlighter Compact Powder. It is gorgeous gorgeous for my skin like it is insanely glowy so i put that all over you want to skip your acne points i mean that's a given but i'm just saying i put there and then i put here some and then you guys you know you know you gotta go crazy with your body highlight okay this is my favorite trick ever i've been doing it for so long but i first used the sigma p so i'm using my p87 sigma brush and then you take it's like a triangle brush like that. You want to take your highlighter and then you want to put like literally stamp it. So on the inner corner, it just, you're stamping it. And then I like to love to take it all the way up front. Wow, dude, I love doing my eyes. Like it's so pretty. Like you can't stop once you start doing it. Then I'm taking this super tiny, you got to get this skinny, babe. It's like, it's like two pubic hairs, okay? You just got to stick it at the end of like a toothbrush and then use it because I can't ever find a brush like this ever again. It's so tiny and you need to like dip it into the dip brow, the Anastasia dip brow, start drawing on the inner corner and pull it inside. Okay, be kind of like an Arab eye look. Like I love doing this, makes your eyes super long and huge and big. And then after doing this on both ends, you need to bring it very very inner corner ish right don't get a black liner black is just so harsh it looks like you have like shit ton of eye makeup on i take a brown liner and then i coat on top of it this way it doesn't move at all no matter what you do and what you try to do it doesn't move it doesn't budge since it's dark brown it doesn't show up well on my skin but i like how subtle it is i don't like a harsh line and that's why i don't like to do liner and then after that um i like how bulgy my eyes are like naturally you can see a shadow here i like to just like bring more attention to that so I'll, I'll squint like that and you can see the shadow here so you want to do that and then create that line like a false shadow line look at how big bulby frog eyed i look this is another trick i will dip it into some brown shadow like this and make it more fox like something like megan fox has and i'll also put the brown liner all over the crease and make it more shadowy okay now done with my eyes quickly gonna curl my lashes you squeeze it in and then you pull it up like this essence lash princess it's the green tube the way this i saw this go viral on tiktok i'm like sweetie you guys are a bit late because this has been in the market for so long you want to wiggle like right at the roots 
Can you see how long my lashes are? I'm telling you, it's the grand day lash. Can't even say it right. Okay, look at how it looks like I have liner on, but I don't. My fave port is the blush. Everyone on TikTok harasses me for this secret. Always, you guys, never ask me, okay? It's always gonna be, yeah, it's always gonna be burnt pepper from MAC. Always, 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 okay? So you wanna go a bit crazy, get it all over the brush, and then you go like that. Just rosy up my cheeks, and then all over your nose. I'm blushing, oh my god. And now for the lippies, you want to take a clean off any kind of foundation you have. You know, you know what's you know coming. coming. It's, it's gonna be like six, like lipsticks. six lipsticks. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I have like three lipsticks, one gloss, one lip liner. Okay, starting with the lip liner. Coco from NYX Cosmetics. She is beautiful, she's grace. I like to coat my whole lips with this color. It's just like a soft brown. It, it's very much like my lip, my natural lip color. I go in with um Morphe Peanut. I put this all over my lips. Taunt by Morphe. It's a super light nude, only in the center. We're not done. We gotta still work on this. Get into the same blush you used on your cheeks. You gotta tap it in and then go on your lips, all over your lips like that. Cut up any random lash that I see going like flying around. And you wanna get lashes that probably has a small and then it goes longer at the end. So that's the kind of lash you need. They're usually called like cat eye lashes and this and that. I stick it right at the end of my lashes. This is the finished look. Um, If I'm bored and I'm feeling like it, I will use the setting spray. Just very little, cause this can like really make your face oily and I don't like that. You know what, I really hate my <laughs> Little baby hairs, what are they doing? Also, this brush is so cool. I don't know what this brush is called. I got it from Amazon, but I'm assuming it's like a teasing brush. Fixes up my baby hairs. You see what it did? But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. Hope you guys liked it. All items, trust me, don't bother me in the comments. Everything you're asking for is linked in the description box from hair to makeup to outfit, everything. But yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's at Ansi Twinkle, and I will see you guys in my next